I got a special treat for you today. Hey everybody, today on the Extreme Channel, we're reviewing the highly sought after Sume Vegeta 1 4th scale. Hey, I'm Mr. X, and today we're looking at what is arguably one of the most sought after anime or Dragon Ball Z statues that have ever made. That's right, this is Vegeta. This is a one fourth scale statue made by Sume. I pronounced the D, you just couldn't hear it. So as I said, this is a pretty highly sought after piece. It's actually a few years old. They made 3,000 of these, and they sell for about twice the original retail value because it's arguably one of the best Vegeta statues out there. Now, I have a Dragon Ball Z collection going actually right over there. And if you want to see what that looks like, we're actually going to do a room tour very soon. And when I say room tour, I mean office tour. I'm going to get rid of these 20 big screen TVs behind me, but you're going to see about 50 statues here in the office. So make sure you've not only liked this video, but you've subscribed to the channel and you've hit that bell notification for all so you know when that launches. And Vegeta being one of the main characters of Dragon Ball Z, I didn't have a statue of him. I considered getting the new Prime 1 Studios right here, especially because I have their Goku on order. However, I like this one much better and I was able to get a decent deal for him. He'll pay quite a bit above retail, but we'll talk about that during value. Because today we're gonna do an extreme review. We're gonna look at some close-ups, we're gonna do some video, we're gonna talk about the design, we're gonna look at the light-up features. But before we jump into that, check this out. To give back to you guys, the Extreme Channel is giving away this giant Goro statue from PCS for our 20,000 sub giveaway. If you wanna know how to win this, I'll tell you a little bit later in this video. Now, before we kick it off, I just want to say thank you. This is not only one of the most highly sought after, but it's probably one of the most viewed statues on YouTube. So if you're here, it means you're here just for my charming personality. But as usual, let's start with concept of this piece. And this is not the only thing that makes it great, but it's one of the things that makes it great because this is from one of the most iconic scenes in the series. It's actually in a huge fight where he is actually taking on a version of Boo. So on the bottom here, you have this rocky, sandy base, and the paint and sculpt on this is excellent. We'll talk more about that when we get to the category. He has his aura effects all around him. You know, obviously they didn't want it jutting out in the front because it would cover up the character himself. So I like how they just had a few in the front and then some in the back, and then he is standing there. I would say this is a museum pose. It almost reminds me a, a little bit of Morpheus from The Matrix, even though I, I believe this may predate that. I'm not quite sure on it and he's getting ready to throw his power. He has his lightning effects around him, and he's in this classic Vegeta suit. This is the version of Vegeta I really like with this color of hair, and I'm not as familiar with Dragon Ball Z and the different levels of Super Saiyan and all that crap, but he's also battle damaged throughout, so this is towards the end of the battle when he's about to kick ass, when he's about to end it and use the ultimate power, and his stoic expression just flows with the rest of the statue. It's all done very well. It shows Vegeta as a badass, and he is a badass. It shows him ready to take out his enemy it shows him confident and i love every part of this i think the concept is phenomenal it's one of the many reasons like i said this statue is so highly sought after but i think it's a five out of five on this piece for the concept and some of the things that add to the concept are the way they designed it now with that being said there are no switch outs for this what you see is what you get and it's not that difficult to assemble although there are a lot of pieces and it comes in a monstrous box check it out so as I said, an absolutely giant box. It wasn't as heavy as it should be for such a big box. It had a pretty decent art box, not only on the top, but the fronts and the back also displayed the statue and some history about the character and the company. Standard foam, two layers, all packaged extremely well, especially when you consider I bought this second hand. So nothing was damaged.
other than the statue, you get a whole bunch of other stuff. You get a little metal COA, a stand that says Sume on it. You have an assembly book. You have an original uh, paper certificate of authenticity somewhere. This is actually a art print it comes with, pretty cool. Here is the COA. And then there is another white envelope that's been sealed, so I dare not open it. And I will always keep it closed. So if you know what it is in the comments, go ahead and throw in the comments below what this actually is. I'm not gonna open it. So as I said, he is one for scale, which means they've taken a real life version, shrunk him down four times. Let's measure this piece. The deepest point is probably about 18 inches or so, give or take. The widest point you're looking at 19 or so, and the tallest point is probably the aura effect on the back. Probably this one, right at 21 inches. So I do like he's not gonna take up a ton of room. Right now I'm actually gonna put him next to this Broly, and I've actually done a review on it. You can see it right here. Everything fit together fantastic. Now there is not only a light up feature, but a sound feature, which I don't think I've ever had on a statue. And I haven't tested it yet, but you're gonna do some time traveling right now. So check out what it's gonna look like once I hook it in. So here's the light up feature. Now there are a few different options where it can be a strobe or a flash, or I think constantly on. If I was gonna use a feature, this would be it. However, it won't be plugged in where I go. The sound feature, you actually need to hook up an external speaker. And uh, I don't have one here at the office, nor do I really care for one. So I do apologize for that. But uh, it is neat that they added a sound feature. I think my biggest deal would be, did you pay extra for that? If you paid extra for that, I, I would not be a fan. However, if they were able to absorb it in the cost, then it's probably not a big deal. But the light up feature is quite cool. Hopefully that was amazing. I won't know until a little bit later, but you guys know before me, or do you? Time traveling is kind of complicated. So anyway, uh, design, I think it's great. The only issue I would say is some of the lightning effects seem to fall out a little bit easier, but as you see, as I'm moving it like this, there are no issues. So I think the design's a four out of five because the lightning effects are not perfect. So again, this statue is just getting fantastic scores. And like I said, it's not gonna stop with the paint and sculpt. It is done really well. I like this a lot. It's probably, I'm gonna say it right now, my current favorite anime statue, even though I have some coming in that I think will beat this, but uh, check it out. All right, we'll start with the little metal COA here. Kind of neat of the statue. I got number 184. Now look at the base here. I love this sand effect. It looks fantastic. I like the texture on it. I like the paint. It does give that illusion of real dirt or real sand. So I am very impressed by that. And then they almost have like some cloud, uh, like um, uh, I wanna say billows, kind of like a big smoke coming from the sand on the outside, uh, all coming out from the source, which is Vegeta. So I think that's done really well. It's really impressive. The aura effect too, I like. Um, I didn't think I would like it as much as I do, but it looks quite good whether the uh, light is on or off. Does look better with it on. And I usually don't use light up features uh, and I, I won't for this statue either, but uh, it still looks good off as well. And I like the colorings, how it gets to a uh, darker orange on the tips. The lightning effects I think look pretty good. Uh, they do look a little plastic, but I've never seen any good lightning effects that didn't have kind of that plastic feature. I like the color they chose. It's, it's a variant of the blue off of the suit. Semi-translucent on those. On Vegeta, let's start with his boots here. I like the coloring on his boots. You have that mix of the blue in with the white, the classic yellow tips, which will match his hair as we move up. You see some folds in there. He has a linear textured pattern on his pants. And then also the colors, again, look fantastic. Uh, I like how it almost is like a reflection of the aura effect coming off. You can see that in the yellow and white that they've added kind of on his ass here. So it really gives that illusion that this statue is almost alive and it's in the middle of that scene where he's, he's summer, summoning his power for his final move. See the rips around his knees? I question why it's just around his knees. I'll have to watch the scene again. Maybe it's 100% it's accurate to the scene. I think they did a good job with the anatomy. Uh, very fit guy, classic six pack. You can see it through the suit, which technically doesn't make a lot of sense in real life, but I wish they would have done a little bit of blue in the veins up here, but I think the skin tones are done really well. And again, fantastic anatomy on the arms, very buff. 
The gloves have a lot of that same effect we talked about with the boots. His hair too, I think uh, does a really great job. I like the color of yellow. Obviously this is pretty accurate to the scene, but I think it's a little bit brighter than it shows on screen. And then the, the Majin symbol. His eyes, I like how he's looking where his hand is. He's kind of pointing that at his uh, enemy at Boo and, and just ready to destroy him. Your classic Vegeta portrait here, Majin Vegeta. The scars from the, the battle they added. And remember, this is kind of a mix, in my opinion, between a realistic take and specifically from that scene. And I think they accomplished both really well. It's really impressive everything they've done here. Let me just get a shot of the back here. This is one part you didn't see. That might be uh, Japan's ass instead of America's ass right there. So really well done. The paint and sculpt is uh, very impressive. There's not really a lot to go over, but I'm impressed. Paint, like I said, I love it. If you're gonna do a lightning effect, I think this is the best you can do. So I think that's one of the most difficult parts. I uh, There's nothing really I would improve, honestly, on the paint. So I think I have to give the paint a five out of five on this piece. And the sculpt follows a lot of the same lines. I love the sand base. I think the aura effects look great, his suit. Um, some of the texture. I think the anatomy is spot on. I think it's a five out of five on the sculpt as well. Now this is where we talk about value. So the original retail price was 700 euro, uh, which is about a thousand US, give or take, depending on the exchange rate, maybe a little bit less than that. Plus you have to pay for shipping. And they made 3000 of these. That's quite a high edition size. However, I ended up paying 1500 US for this, which is about the going rate in the aftermarket. If you're lucky, you can probably get it a little bit cheaper but I trusted where I bought it from and I knew it'd be in mint condition and obviously it is. So we're not really gonna give the value a score, but that kind of gives you an idea if you're on the lookout for one, uh, how much you should be paying. Last category, does this statue have the X factor? Now, while this category is not a cumulative score, it does have the X factor. Like I said, I think this is my favorite anime piece that I currently have and I have some pretty cool ones. Um, it might be just because it's new or because I've wanted it for quite a long time for a few years here, ever since it came out. But a fantastic piece. It's a five out of five statue, I believe. Uh, didn't disappoint. A lot of the hype uh, that's surrounding this, a lot of times there's a lot of hype around a statue and then you get it in real life and you're like, hmm, that just doesn't make sense. But this one definitely does. So really quick before we take off, check out the giveaway. To win this Goro statue, first thing you gotta do is make sure you've liked this video, you've actually subscribed to the channel, and you've hit that bell notification. Second thing is leave a comment below and make sure it's a witty, entertaining, or funny comment. Because when we hit 20,000 subscribers, I'm going to pick a random video and the comment that has the most likes on it will be the winner of this Goro statue. So make sure your comment is entertaining to others and entertaining to Mr. X. Because if I like it, I'm actually going to pin it to the tops to help you get more likes. Again, thanks guys. Really appreciate it. Chances are if you're watching this, you may have seen this statue before and you just came to support the channel. Or if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that Mr. X logo to subscribe or check out some of this other stuff. We have hundreds and hundreds of videos of collectibles, anime, Marvel, all that good stuff. But otherwise, I'll talk to you very soon. Take care.